Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Tables, which is a type of storage for NoSQL key value data store within the Azure storage accounts. Azure Tables stores non-relational structured data with a schemaless design, and there are two ways to interact with Azure Tables through the Storage Table Storage API or Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer, which I find is the easiest way to interact with it. So just kind of looking at uh, Storage Explorer there, if you wanted to add an entry, uh, you'd have to provide a partition key, which is a un unique identity identify a fire for the partition with a given table, and a row key, a unique identifier for an entity within a given par uh, a partition. And so you have all your data types here. So we see string, boolean, binary, data type, uh, double, uh, uh, GUID, int32, int64. If we wanted to query, you'd have to query along the partition and row key. So you could also do some additional filtering here. So just notice here, that um, you know you have your partition key you put in your value like Klingon and Wharf, and then this is not this is just additional properties you added. A lot of times the way these key values work is that um, this will return the results like all the results, and then server side and then client side these will be filtered client side. I don't know if that's the case with Azure Table, but that's generally how these things work. And so there you go.